Everybody, welcome back. Or welcome, I should say, because this is not just Spelunky 2. This is the Golden Goblet of Spelunky 2. For anybody who is unfamiliar with the uh, Golden Goblet, essentially the way that it works is me and my good friends Michael Ale Fox, Dan Giesling, YouTube.com slash Michael Ale Fox, YouTube.com slash Dan Giesling. Every day, Monday through Sunday, we upload a video of us attempting the same feat. Whoever has the highest score wins. Gold goes to gold, silver goes to second, bronze goes to bronze, you know? At the end of the week, we see who did the best. This week, we are playing through Spelunky 2. Highest score wins, and it's just the score you get on your first run. People are going to be like, why don't you do daily challenges? We tried that. I am say this with a little bit of honesty, but a lot of good humor. Uh, our good friend Dan Giesling accidentally missed a couple of dailies, so we figured, you know what? Why not make it a little easier for everyone, especially with the game, you know, just having come out. And just say, you know, we're not really worried about the... I, let me put it this way. I'm pretty sure that the the top scores... Ooh, he's got vine ropes! ...are not going to be determined um, by the seed. <laughs> Do you hear that? I'm just making sure this character is not like, you know, they have some special characteristics or something. Like, like poison hearts, because they do have green HP, which is a little weird, but, um... Anyway, you get the idea. I'm pretty sure that the, the success or failure of these runs is going to determine, or be determined by, you know, mistakes that we make. Due to our unfamiliarity with the game, instead of like, oh, well, you know, my seed had, you know, 17 diamonds in this location. So basically what I'm saying is just, uh, you know, shut up and pog, dummy. <laughs> Alright. So I, 100%, my strategy for this is just live as long as possible. As long as, the, the longer we are able to live the better our results are going to be. You think we're good to just go down that way? We should probably check over here first. Um, so I'm just gonna try to have like a good clean run of Spelunky. Um, I, I'm definitely gonna sack the dog though, because I feel like the longer we live, the better off we're gonna be. Um, we only have two ropes left, but there should be a shopkeeper on this floor. Dude, that's such a huge get. Now, of course, I feel like, oh, seated runs, those don't matter. The reason they don't matter is because uh, of the fact that I just picked up, like, maybe one of the best items in the game that you can get from a, uh, from a sacrifice. I don't know what I hit there, but it worked, apparently. Okay. Careful, careful. Yo, it's Key Floor as well. Key Floor Sutherland. This is a very, very good start. Now, if there's anything that's gonna maybe take me to the next level in, uh, I guess we could sack you, but we gotta, we gotta move a little faster. Um, if there's anything that could take me to the next level in Spelunky, after not doing a fantastic job for the last little bit, um, well, I don't know, I don't think we've been doing particularly badly, but it's just, you know, it's an adjustment period. I'm just gonna say, pog up for the baldo in the background there, um, that maybe a an extra layer of competition might be just what the doctor ordered. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay, terrible start. Oh my. <laughs> We've lived. We live. Um, that's, that's a bad way to lose 3 HP. A oh, red snake, dude. I know we got green hearts. I don't know what's up with them. I really do think it's worth buying the bomb box. Brother, this is a little, a little dangerous in here. Um, so the bomb box is fine. You do have ropes for sale as well. Okay, hear me out here. Bit of a coward's approach. That's terrible news. That's terrible news is what that is. Um, didn't really think that one through. But you know what? He only called me a vandal. Maybe he'll get over that <laughs> maybe maybe he'll just be like nah dude that was last floor so that was not a wise move on my part what was my plan 
Well, I was gonna blow that up so I didn't have to go past it again. And then I was gonna use, uh... Hello. Maybe an arrow trap hit you? I was gonna use the rope to grab the idol and then bring the idol in, get some more money, use the money to do whatever, just to get a high score, I guess. That is part of the, you know, the, the, both the danger and the intrigue. The more money we spend, but well, we're not gonna bring you a dead, uh, turkey here. But by sacking this, the, the dog that is, we will get the Kapala. As long as it's alive. Hey, don't grab that. I'm murdering it. <laughs> and by getting the Kapala and the cape early, I'm just gonna be honest, we kinda like... A lot of our problems are starting to slip away. Not to say we couldn't like completely screw it up still, but... It's definitely very helpful. For sure. What is that sound? The beep beep beep, you know what I'm talking about. Has this... This is probably not fired, right? We gotta be real cautious about it. I'm just... Oh, God! That's okay. I'm just trying to get as much blood as possible. And also not get hit by the arrow trap. I don't know. Was it worth it? <laughs> It felt worth it until I got hit right there. But there we go. We got our, we got our third blood again. Constantly, like, gaining and losing HP. What can I say? Okay, grab the blood. Grab the blood. Maybe get out of here, because I don't really trust these guys. What is that beep-beep sound? That's what's throwing me. I gotta say, this blood farming is going pretty well, though. I am happy to continue this, as long as it is uh, sensible for me. This seems like a very good start. Although I will also- I was gonna say, dude, is that- he's dead? Is, is he dead? Like, I'm gonna be honest with you, it might seem like try-hard city. It was not my intention to murder the shopkeepers. We'll just call it a happy accident for the time being. But I, I gotta level with you having a shotgun early on. Seems pretty sweet. Like, there's got- that thing has not gone off yet. We gotta be a little bit more cautious. Now, am I crazy or did they- no, this must still be a beating drum floor. Yeah, because I can hear the beating of the drums is the thing. Good stuff, good stuff. Yo, that's so satisfying. Okay. He's dead, dude. He dropped some turkey for us to eat. Let's go. Now, Monty, I hate to do it, brother, because it's not a nice thing to do. Typically, you do that. Dude, we have 8 HP. I'm kind of losing it. I told you, I just needed a little bit of extra... Je ne sais quoi. And here we are. Now, I think you can get yourself stuck here, you know? We, we really shouldn't have uh, killed the guy until he broke through the walls for us. Either way, we are in. I hate to do it, but we already have 9 HP. Well, 8. Let's just grab the blood. Monty's got like a blood and a half worth of- Or a heart and a half of blood inside of him, so... Some good eats there. But remember, it's not about... How far you get in the game. It's about your score. I'm sorry for that. But it had to be done. Um, it's about your score. And if it's about our score, I mean, I gotta tell you, you know, thank you, thank you. At some point, you know, you, you might think you have enough blood. You would be incorrect. I think the more the merrier, because, like, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, I mean, I'm feeling pretty good. We got 10 HP. We don't really have a lot of money, and we're on conveyor belt nightmare again, but that's okay. So I'm not really treating- Oh, that's okay. I'm not necessarily treating this like a key, huh? 
I'm not really treating this necessarily like, oh, I'm so concerned with ensuring that we uh, get the highest score possible. I'm more just thinking, you know, as the further we get, the more likely we are to have a high score. No, nobody involved with this really knows what they're doing with respect to the score maximization or anything, I think, so... Don't necessarily have to worry about it all that much. Just trying to figure out where I where I go here. It's a weird level. I still I still don't know where I stand here. Okay, that's like the worst rope of all time. But it did still work. Still got this. I saw there was a jetpack for sale. But I would think like with cape and shotgun, we're kind of okay. Oh, that's scary. And uh, plus, this guy hates us, right? Maybe we'd be better off not even, like, ruffling his feathers. Hello. He doesn't even know. He's not long for this world. 10 HP. There we go. Almost 11 HP. I am trying to see, is this one of the shops that has, like, the upper level? Oh! Uh, just go, just go. Yo, you can use that to get some gold for you. Keep in mind, we also want to make sure... Well, I mean, A, I'm trying to figure out, like... Forget the forget the rock dog, dude. I'm not sweating that yet. I'm trying to figure out where we put this key. And also trying to figure out... Everything else. <laughs> oh, you know what? This is huge. I, I thought I was gonna have to use my last rope here, but instead, yeah, 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 yeet. And then, dude, I hate to do it, but also, it had to be done. Funny how that works. Um, careful, Monty. I'm so sorry. Oh, what the? It deflects the bullets back at you. That's absurd. I don't know why you would ever approach that in that way, but we did. Oh! <laughs> uh, is Abraham Lincoln? Tusk won't be happy about this, but thank you. You're welcome. And by the way, that's why you don't shy away from going up to 15 HP or whatever we were at. You never know when you're going to encounter a bulletproof enemy down here. Don't blow up my shotgun. Okay, we got to be very careful here. No shopkeeper. Dude, I'm telling you, I think the shopkeeper is actually cool with me now. I know you're like narrator voice, he's not cool with you. I will I will indeed begin the moon challenge. I mean, we are spending 10,000 for this. But I'm telling you in all sincerity, I feel like it tends to be worth it as long as you have the Uja and I. I guess we should be listening as well for like blinking, right? I know it's, you probably lose your mind. It's not listening, it's like looking, but you know what I mean. You're listening not for blinking, but for the glunk glunks. The heck's going on down here? Got a free crate. Oh, what are you doing, dummy? Okay. Bombs, you, you definitely love to see those. I would say we should still go through here. I mean, if you can't make ten thousand uh, dollars out of this, you don't know how to play Spelunky, which is fine. You know, it's a great game. I'm sure there's many sources out there that you could use that would be happy to teach you. Um, I don't know if it's worth doing that for a single gold bar. I'll tell you that much. But I mean, I'm relatively pleased with this so far. Not a, not a truly uh, god-awful performance or anything. So I think we just go till the Matic breaks. That, that's my hypothesis about where we stand here. My worst nightmare is getting trapped in here with the ghost. And I, by the way, you're like, why didn't you get the bow and arrow? I like actually don't want it. We have the shotgun. Don't need it. Okay, we only have 5 HP, which is honestly like kind of embarrassing. Considering we had like 70. <laughs> that just means we're gonna have to be that much more aggressive about farming. Oh my god! 
No, 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 not on my watch. It turns out, uh, on my watch. So let me tell you. Certainly feel like this would be a great floor to have some ropes. <laughs> certainly feel like this would be a great floor to have a jetpack. Hold on, I got a, I got a whole series of events, plans. Unfortunate or otherwise. Shotgun jump still works. Kill the bat. Didn't get its blood, that's fine. If you're not familiar with that, that technique known as the shotgun jump, don't get too beaten up over it, you know. Not everybody plays video games at the same level as I do. Blood! Okay, so we encountered this thing earlier. Definitely seems like this could completely ruin my run. Or on the other hand, could be truly incredible. Poggy beyond belief. I don't know what we do to set it off, though. In my head, I was like, don't do that. And then I did it anyway. Okay, we can go down this way. I was literally just about to say, just don't get caught by the freaking fire. Okay, okay, that's right. The shotgun creates a little backwards movement. Yo, I didn't even think about using it in that specific capacity. Go, go. This is one of my better runs for sure, though. But a single hit could be enough to squander. And you never, like, like, I feel like I'm doing pretty well right now. But I also fully recognize that Malf is like, he's a competition beast. I don't know how he does it. But in every Golden Goblet, he's like up near the top or at the top. I only beat him in Tony Hawk 4-3 to three to 0. Um, no offense, Daniel. And I came in with like what could aptly, I think, be described as a massive advantage there. We're still going, huh? So, you, you know, you, you don't take anything for granted when you're going up against Malf in a video game competition. You knew that was coming, you just had to be a little afraid. Oh, it's superheated? Oh, it's not superheated. <laughs> How sick would that have been, though? Okay, Monty, I, I hear you, but at the same time, Got to be a little bit... We just got to get out of here, brother. We already have a Kapala. I'm not too worried about getting up there. No ropes is a real bummer. No ropes is a bit of a problem. So we got... We got... We got a fast Olmec. And he do be fast. We also have a ladder. Okay. We don't really know what this does yet, right? Like... Just looking for what we can see up there. We do see a Monty. And I'm not talking about Tony. Um... So I really think we just use our bombs. But now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, dude, we need a way out of there. So this is like not the most elegant Olmec fight you're ever going to see. At all. Okay, okay. You're fine, dude. Olmex back. And in pog form. I think I can do... I mean, we could just go, I guess. We don't need to really kill Olmec, right? We can just bounce. I want to kill him. Just in case he needs to die. For the next phase. Dude, he's so mobile now. Once we get down here, though, he's he's hyper mad, right? Yeah, it becomes like a little spaceship, starts shooting. What's going on up here, though? Oh my god! Just shoot. I don't know, is he getting hurt? 
He does not appear to be getting hurt. I will be leaving. But there's more down here, dude. I gotta know. There's more down here! Thanks for the blood, dummy. Um... So I'm, like, completely flying blind. There's even more! So I'll tell ya. Oh, that's, that's the nightmare. I don't know, dude, do you think we should just try to, like, multi-kill Olmec here? Will he even fall? He's in a levitating spaceship! <laughs> you know what? I think I'm out! I think I'm gone! Alright. Oh, hello. Hiya, how's the adventure going? I started a new shortcut. I'll need a rope to climb over it. Sorry. No can do. Alright. Um, this, this is new ground for me. Well, um... Okay, certainly feel a little overwhelmed. Um... There you go. Good, good movement. You know what? I think I'm just gonna let you be. Hello. Oh my god, we're dead. Um, that happened fast. We got a high score of 82,900 and made it to ancient Egypt. <laughs> For now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a pretty good day one of the Golden Goblet. If you did like it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!